What's up, everybody? It's me, Tim. I'm here, and I'm going to do a reaction video to Star Wars Force Awakens trailer. I'm really excited. I'm wearing a Star Wars uh, Star Wars shirt, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to watch it. We're going to get started. Here we go. Don't hold any my reactions against me, okay? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for sticking around to hear my predictions. When it comes to The Force Awakens, let's just say I have a new hope that Star Wars can be returned to the great franchise it once was. <laughs> to be honest, I'm very proud of that joke. And to be even more honest, I have to tell you that I'm only kidding. Just kidding, guys. I did shoot myself in the head for real because that trailer was so good, but I can't actually talk. So let's get into my predictions, okay? First of all, I'd just like to say that everybody's wrong about what they thought so far, and I am right. Secondly, I'd like to say that I'm a big Star Wars fan, but my knowledge of Star Wars does not go outside the movies, really. I mean, I know who Dengar is. I don't really delve into it that deeply outside of maybe the casual video game playing. And I also watched a few episodes of The Clone Wars, but that's mostly because I like Gendy Tartakovsky's work, not necessarily because I'm a huge Star Wars buff. However, I do think I've developed a fairly reasonable prediction, and it's based mostly on marketing goals, because that's really what runs movies these days, especially movies of this size. So here we go. Just bear with me. I did shoot myself in the head, so I might stumble here and there. So we're going to start off on a desert planet, much like Tatooine, because everyone likes to be pounded over the head with nostalgia nowadays. So that's what the marketers are going to go for. They're going to start with something that looks like Tatooine, but isn't Tatooine, which we all kind of know already, sort of, if you've been paying attention to stuff online. We're going to start off with Rey. Rey is going to live there. She's not going to know who her parents are. She's going to be kind of an orphan, but she will find out later that her father is Luke Skywalker, who gave her away because he did not want her to live in this life of constant threat, because Luke's developed all these enemies now, so he has to be in hiding, because he can't, like, be, like, strolling into the Mos Eisley Cantina and be 
be like, what's up, everybody? It's me, Luke Skywalker. I defeated, you know, the Empire. Some of you might have had a vested interest in the Empire continuing to regulate business and whatnot. So he can't really hang out in public anymore. He's in hiding. He's just like Obi-Wan was. He gave away his daughter, who is Rey, who is now living not knowing that she is the daughter of one of the most powerful Jedis, which I think also comes from her own name, which means regal in French and Spanish. I think it means king. It has a la- It's a Latin root for royalty. She's going to be Leia's niece, which would also make her royalty, but she will be living on her own, trying to find out who she is as a person, where she fits into this crazy thing called a galaxy. And then uh, John Boyega's character, Finn, will start off in the Empire, but he'll have some sort of awakening. And he'll start to be like, you know what? I'm not going to hang out with these people anymore because they do bad things. And he'll be like, I'm out. Peace. Late. And he will steal a TIE fighter and he'll be like, pew, 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 And the other guys will be like, you know, pew, 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 And then he'll fly away and he'll get shot down in a daring attempt to escape. He's going to land on the planet where Rey lives. It'll be just like C-3PO and R2-D2, and we'll be like, ooh, look at all this nostalgia. And then he'll come across her, and they'll be like, who are you? What do you do? I don't know. You know, whatever. Then she'll be like, let me call my aunt and uncle. And her aunt and uncle are Han and Leia, just like Aunt Beru and, and Uncle Owen took care of Luke. Now Han and Leia will kind of stay in touch with Rey, but not too much she will have been like kind of like i'm gonna go into town to pick up some power converters you know she'll be like that and then you know bb8 will be there and he'll be like beep 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 and then uh, everyone will be like oh isn't he cute and he'll look like a weird love child of the two robosexuals that were in the first one i mean look actually look at (laughs) look at bb8 and tell me that's not part c3po part r2d2 i mean it looks like they finally gave into all of those urges that they were clearly having because you know, that's what robots do. Uh, anyway, then she's like, "I, we got to take you to talk to Han and, and Leia and maybe get you to be part of the resistance because you got this force power. Meanwhile, the Empire will be doing bad stuff. They'll be chasing them and they'll be like, well, we're going to find them. Then we'll come across Poe Dameron, who will actually be the estranged son-in-law of Han and Leia, whose wife died in a previous battle whilst being a part of the resistance so they'll have this weird kind of dysfunctional family dynamic and han will have not been crazy about him because he's just like han a reckless pilot you know total lady killer that that, it's a bit of a reach i actually hope that's what the case is because i think that would be cool but i don't necessarily think that's what it's going to be and then john boyega's character finn will be like i know where their base is we can go get them and hit them where it hurts and then he'll lead the resistance on a thingamajig and then at the end captain phasma and ray will stand off against one another because you know mainstream audiences are totally about having like a cool female baddie and a cool female hero but the female hero and the female baddie will fight each other and the female hero will kill the female baddie because you cannot have a male kill a woman baddie that that's one thing that the producers that's a risk they won't take because that's just like ooh, a man killing a woman that's bad you know what i mean even if she is a bad thing but even though like indiana jones like oh elsa schneider's a nazi but i'm not gonna kill her i'm gonna try and save her because she's a hot blonde you know what i mean uh then at the end after a long battle and everything um our heroes will come back and leia will be like you used the force to save the day against rilo ken and i'll tell you who rilo ken is in a second actually i'll tell you right now rilo ken is the son of grand moff tarkin I think that because of the casting, Adam Driver looks a lot like Peter Cushing, so the two of them, I think, are related. You gotta think, like, the uh, the Rebels made a lot of enemies, they blew, they blew up two Death Stars, two Death Stars, they just exploded them, they just kaplow. So there's a lot of revenge going on on the other side, and they've just given rise to a new, stronger enemy. So as a result, Luke is in hiding because he can't stick his neck out. Rilo Ken is on the lookout for Luke because he killed his father. John Boyega will be the guy who the Force awakens within. Poe Dameron will be stolen at the end, just like Han was stolen at the end of Empire. That means we have to go rescue someone in the beginning of the next one. And then we also have to have John Boyega's character, Finn, go off to find Luke, who's in hiding. And that's the shot of R2-D2 with the robot hand that we've been seeing in the trailers. That's the only appearance of Luke. We'll see Luke at the very end, and then it'll be like, and everyone will turn to each other and go, oh, 
he's going to be like the new Yoda. And oh God, we got to come back in two years when they finish the next one or whenever it comes out. Because really, this whole movie serves one purpose to get you to come to the next one. Now you've got like the whole Han demographic has a new Han, Poe. The whole Leia demographic has a new Leia, Rey. The whole Luke demographic has Finn because he's the guy who's on his journey to find himself within the Force and the galaxy. Yeah, that's what I think. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel. I'm right here, whatever. Uh, subscribe. I'm looking forward to the movie. I, I think everybody else is too. And we'll find out if I was wrong or right. I was probably wrong. I'm probably wrong on a lot of levels, but I think I'm right on a lot of levels. So we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. Thanks for listening. And may the force be with you. Ha 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 